We are here with Muhammad Manir in sunny Southern California. You know, every one of our instructors has an interesting and unique vibe. And I think a big part of that vibe uh, is contributive from, well, a big part of who they are, I think is influenced by where they're from and where they live. And so you'll see that he's kind of laid back, but at the same time, he has a level of passion to him. And I was hoping that we can kind of get to understand or witness some of that here yeah. and it's in environments like these this is actually really nice this is a nature reserve yeah oh really yeah okay so this is actually very nice yeah it is um and wait till we get and you can see a view of um a lot of the north county and the hills before like diamond bar and the Habra heights it's nice it's a nice view. So, one of the things that uh, Sheikh Mohammed here has got going on is Once Upon the Nile, the Epic of Moses. You would think it's a class on story huh. or the life of the prophet or things like that. It has those elements in it, yeah. yes. But it is a Quran class. Yeah. And, and I think I was hoping that you could kind of share with us. Um, just the, some of the passages, if you could recite for us some of the things. Right. <laughs> I'm really catching my breath here. Man. <laughs> so, what we can do you is... Get, you need to get in the zone. You need to get in the there's, zone. There's one verse in particular that I love when we come to that point in the class. And that's the, the, the ayah in the Quran um, in Surah Al-Tahreem where Allah tells us about the dua that Asiya made. Okay. Uh, and, I, and I just love that dua that she made because it just shows her love for Allah mm -hmm. and her yearning and longing to be close to Allah. I just, I just always found that it was really nice. And what is that? A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. وَضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مْرَأَةَ فِرْعَوْنَ Allah says he, he, he takes an example, He gives us an example of those that believed the wife of Fir'aun. إِذْ قَالَتْ رَبِّ بِنِ لِي عِنْدَكَ بَيْتًا فِي الْجَنَّةِ وَنَجِّنِي مِنْ فِرْعَوْنَ وَعَمَلِهِ O oh my Lord and Master and Creator, build for me near you a house in Jannah. وَنَجِّنِي مِن وَعَمَلِهِ وَنَجِّنِي مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ And save me from Fir'aun and his evil actions. And save me from the wrongdoing people. It's not a long dua. Yeah. But you kind of just get you kind of feel so many emotions that she must have been feeling at that time and witnessing and surrounded by oppression and oppressive figures. Okay. But she had a lot of Iman in Allah. I think it would be worth moving to Cali just for this. Oh yeah, and this is like, honestly, Bella, this is like, this is beautiful. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but there are so many other places that just would, would be considered at a, at a higher, value classification than, than this spot here. Well, he, right here in Southern California? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, I mean, what's interesting is it's like, here you have a lot of greenery and stuff. Yeah. And at the same time, I've seen a lot of beauty, even in like, if you go further up north where it's more desert-like. But it's just like, the, in and it, of itself has its own serenity. And I, and I think that's something that um, many of us don't take advantage of enough. Yeah. Um, and generally, most people that happen to live in um, major urban centers, yeah. we have to understand that that's not, that's not normal. What? You know? Urban living? That, that in intense urban uh, sort of lifestyle. We can go from here. Okay. Like you need to actually take, the, this is normal. This is yeah. beauty, you know? <laughs> look at that. They got the clouds hugging the mountains up in the distance. Yeah. Hey, look at that mountain biker. Yeah, I would totally fit in right here. 
You know, here, I don't know if I asked you this before, but what inspired you to uh, teach this class? You don't remember? What? You don't remember how the idea for this class came about? No, I forgot. Oh, wait, I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I remember. But I remember bits and pieces. All right, we have to just pause, no okay. talking, and let's just soak in the view. Is it nice? It's very nice. Inshallah. I wonder what this place looks like at night with all the uh, like the streets lit up. Mm. But I would, I would assume that the streets are not so lit up that you can't see the stars, right? Because light pollution is, I mean... It's pretty rampant here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. big time. You have to go way out to really appreciate the stars. Okay. You're talking more inland? Yeah, in, okay. to the desert. To the desert, okay. To the high desert. I mean, you can now, take like uh, an hour drive and you can get some beautiful stargazing. So I came here one time late in the evening. I needed to do Salah right away. Yeah. So we're trying to find a spot right here. And so I, I was walking down the trail right over here and I see that small patch of, of grass. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, that's a nice little clearing. Let's just go down there and make Salah. Yeah. And we're standing there and making Salah. And then we finish Salah and I'm just standing, enjoying the view. And I hear, hello. Ah, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I look up behind me and it's like all these guys waiting to like hit their golf ball. And I'm right in the line of, <laughs> right in the line of uh, attack. So, so now I know that they launch it from there into the... <laughs> so don't, don't make Salah over there. <laughs> well, just choose your... Uh, <laughs> choose your, your locations timing. wisely, right? Uh, when we were uh, discussing the planning of this class, yeah. um, it was... Actually, I don't even remember. So basically, there was originally, my first class was not going to be this course. Okay. It was going to be another one. Uh -huh. um, not too different, but a totally different topic. Okay. Uh, but the idea behind it was going to be the same, that it would be a class based on Quran. Okay. Uh, uh, and, uh, and certain sections of the Quran. Uh, and, and particular themes. Yeah. And in the process of, of, of uh, kind of planning for that course yeah and it was um, it was myself and uh, and Ustad Ammar and yourself yeah I'm not sure if somebody else was on the on the call but we were having a call and we were planning and strategizing and um, well, I remember you wanted to do like stories of the prophets and stuff is, right? Is that what it was? I think it was. It was Thanks like for just giving it away in case we ever decide to do make that a course. Good job. Now you really have to. No, cut that out. no, no. Because because the thing was, this was my, uh, from what I remember, this was my um, uh, my thought against it, was because, like, in one weekend, how many stories are you going to really, really cover? Yeah. So I wasn't going to be doing the stories of the prophets. That okay. wasn't the course because there already is a class dedicated on the lives of the prophets. Anyways, we're in the process of talking about that course. Yeah. And I remember somebody on the call, uh, I think it was Saad Ahmad, he was making an analogy. Yeah. About something in the story of Musa. Okay. And then he's like, oh, because like, you know how it is in the Quran with the story of Musa, it's like this and like that. And I was like, yeah. And then we kind of had a pause. And, and I remember I just said, I would love to just spend a whole weekend just on the story of Musa in the Quran. That's yes. And then I, there was a longer pause. And then both of you guys in unison were like, that's an amazing idea. <laughs> and like, why did we think of this before? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> How can we not? And then I like, no, no, no. I was like, no, like, no, no let's, let's think about this some more. And then in the process of that phone call, we yeah. just got each other so excited that we're like class that's it yeah that's the class put it in an email send it to hq let's get this going you know yeah, yeah. I, uh and alhamdulillah you know allah allah really um you know the fun the, the fun part was i think this was shortly after that ridley scott movie had uh, uh left theaters or it had not left theaters it had come to like dvd or whatever uh called uh, gods and kings exodus or it's called Exodus, Gods and Kings. We ended up call, uh, wanting to call it Gods of Men, no. the life of Who's Moses. We? Specify would you say we? <laughs> we was Ammar and I. I think we um, both agreed on that reality. Uh, but I think overall, the... Uh, uh, in, in, I wasn't comfortable with that title. You, yeah, you were not comfortable with that title, for sure. Look at that, the rabbit is just kind of still... Just hopping along. It's a cute little cottontail. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you make a cat sound? <laughs> what does that have anything to do with a rabbit? <laughs> I'm so used to like? I'm so used to seeing cats all over the place, and in, uh, in in Houston, that just 
instinctually if I see an animal walking around. It's just a cat. Yeah, it's just a cat. You know there's more animals around than just... <laughs>